So I'm Cameron, also known as Golden Sound online. You may have seen me on YouTube on the headphone show or my own channel, Golden Sounds. And this is something which we're launching for the first time at CanJam SoCal. It's the Warwick Acoustics Aperio Golden Sound Signature Edition. I was a huge fan of the original Aperio. I thought it was one of the best headphone systems I'd heard. The technology inside it was incredible. And I spoke to Warwick about certain things which I would change if I had the opportunity to do so. And uh, Martin, who's just uh, over here, I basically demonstrated uh, a few of the sort of things which I, I wanted to do. And he really liked them. Then the CEO of Warwick came to visit me uh, and we did the same thing with him. And I said, what do you think about doing a special edition, a collaborative edition of the product? And for the last year and a half, that's what we've been working on. So there's a few things which have changed. Um, so the first thing is that the actual drivers in the headphone are different. So the new drivers have uh, improved charge retention versus the original, which allows us to do a few things. Uh, firstly is that high frequency accuracy is quite a bit better. Uh, and also bass extension at low frequencies, uh, we can go deeper and play at higher SPLs, uh, which was something which certain people uh, weren't sort of too fond of on the original Imperio, whereas this one, it allowed us to do some fun things with the tuning. It means that we can make it much more punchy and impactful. And with Warwick and the technology that we've got inside here and the resources that they were willing to put into it, we were able to make some really complex and flexible changes and precise changes that just would not have been possible with any other product. With other collaborations or sort of product development with standalone headphones and IEMs, you're limited by what you can do with just the drivers, the crossovers, and the sort of acoustic design of the headphone itself, which we have done with the new drivers. Those are improved, but we can go further based upon those with uh, everything that's inside the base unit. So I was able to basically get the frequency response of the headphone exactly as I wanted, uh, to the extent that I'm sure I annoyed some of the engineers because even late in development, I was emailing them and go, I've got a small, tiny little change here that I really want to add. Can we squeeze this in in time? And uh, also, the cool thing is that it's not uh, just digital alteration. If you want to use an external DAC or vinyl source, for example, we've developed brand new analog boards. So you can connect an external analog source of your own uh, and with the new analog boards, everything remains analog through and through and you get the exact same tuning as well. So, so far the feedback has been fantastic, which I'm thrilled about. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited that this is finally out. So it's, uh, it's exclusive to headphones.com and first units are expected to be shipping in December. Price point is 38,000. So it's uh, not, not the most affordable, but it genuinely costs a hell of a lot to make. And a lot of R&D has gone into, well, not just the original period, but this edition specifically as well. Um, it's been a bit of a labor of love for the last year and a half. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but uh, for me, this, this is my ideal headphone.